I want to begin this video by reviewing our definitions of the union and intersection. After that, I'll be introducing two algebraic laws for sets. So the definition of A union B equals set containing elements X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Also, A intersection B is defined as the set containing elements X such that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. So when I, in, I introduce the idempotence law, it should be clear that A union A equals A because A union A is defined as the set containing elements X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of A, which should yield, or you, you should see why that equals the set A. Also, A intersection A equals the set containing elements X such that X is an element of A and X is an element of A, which it should also be clear why that is the set A. Um, next, we have our identity laws. So identity laws are uh, laws where we have a given set and we're performing an operation on that set with a given element. Uh, these elements are the identity elements. So for this case, we have the null set and the universal set are our identity elements. So A union null set equals A. And by definition, that means that A union null set equals the set containing elements X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of the null set. But since we know that the null set is empty, we can't possibly have any elements in there. Um, so it's really saying that A union the null set is equal to the set containing elements X such that X is an element of A or more simply, uh, it equals A. Uh, 